All right, so we made it to our first uh, destination for the night, a little backcountry campground. And we're going to go ahead and hang my pack up from the bear suspension system. Oh, we're camped over here, me and my buddy Brad. Camping over there. So we're going to spend one night here, and then we're going to relocate a little bit further in tomorrow. All right, so we got up at uh, 5.45, made a drive and made a hike, and now we're here. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock, so first look at the stream. Finally getting my feet wet. Got a little caddis tied on. Gonna start off the drives, but uh, eight and a half foot four away right now.
We hiked uh, three miles in today. We're gonna do another three tomorrow. Uh, transition to a back backcountry campground a little bit further in than we're at. Do the more. Lots of little small rainbows. Super fun. Wild fish. Pretty cool fishery. Uh, I think Brad said he had one cool looking brookie. Um, other than that, I'll just get fishing. I'll show you what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. Okay, so we're gonna be here for four nights. Got here on Sunday, leaving Thursday. So I brought three breakfasts plus some bagels, tons of cliff bars, and I brought three peak refuel meals. Um, it's actually gonna be a dinner. I'm gonna save that for breakfast. So I got. The only one I've had before was chicken alfredo. That's pretty good. So I'll tell you what the other three are like. But uh, getting set up. <laughs> Everybody's going through their stuff. We're just going to be hanging out at camp the rest of the night. Look inside the peak mills, they're pretty good. Big thing for me, 740 calories. So about that, I also have my little Gerber spoon. It's got a little multi-tool, so kind of helpful. And you can set it in on the outside. It has a little resting for it, so. Uh, keep it off the ground, kind of nice. Now we're starting to pull. Alright, All right, I'm walking my tent. So I have my Big Agnes Copper Spur um, two man ultralight. And I have my little quilt that I got at the beginning of the season, charging GoPro batteries. Got several chargers. Got several in here. Uh, got two fly rods in here. Day pack. I don't have anything in here that has any type of smell or food or anything. Uh, I have my 30 degree sleeping bag because one on Tuesday it's supposed to get down to 30 degrees and rain all day Wednesday. So plenty of clothes to stay warm. Rain gear. Headlamp. Solar lantern. Uh, Q Core Deluxe sleeping pad, been good to me. Uh, sunglasses and miscellaneous stuff. Let's check on that water. Yeah, good boy. Good already. Oh yeah, I would like that a lot. You said you can't buy, you have to buy the whole thing now though? The whole you can't find the, I mean, maybe you could find some. I looked for a week and I couldn't find any online. Um. All right, good morning everyone. We're uh, getting an early start. Woke up about 5.30, made some uh, instant coffee. Went ahead and uh, had a peak mountain berry granola for breakfast. Wanted something with some calories. We got a little bit of a hike today, like three miles. Um, so we're gonna break down our our tents, uh, put everything back on the, in the packs and hike to the next backcountry camping area. So that's the plan, then we'll do some fishing. We're gonna spend the next two nights there. Today's supposed to be great weather. Tomorrow it's gonna rain. 
which is in the forecast. I hadn't seen it in about 10 days, um, maybe eight. Um, but my buddy, he looked at it before he came in, so he said it was uh, hadn't changed much. Uh, Wednesday morning, it's supposed to be down into like the 30s, like low 30s, like 34, 33. Probably a little chillier on the water. So, like I said, we brought some extra, some extra gear um, to stay warm. And then Thursday, we're gonna fish till uh, you know noon or whatever, and then start hiking out and. What's up everyone? Made it to a uh, second backcountry camp. So we're gonna camp out along here. We got a nice little stream coming in here. And we got the main creek down there. Set up our tarp, a little bit of rain. Got our stuff hung from the bear system. Uh, filtering some water. And then we're gonna hike a little bit and fish our way back. I got my eight and a half foot four weight. Uh, it's been pretty good for the, the water we have now. So, but uh, it's time to get going. Maybe it's just the Perdigans. Brown? No, rainbow. Uh, dark. Pretty. Yeah. Nice. All right. Ten. That's a mess. Maybe that's why we came in where we came in. <laughs> uh.
Yeah, I think this is it. All right, so we're at our uh, second campground. Got a fire going. Got up some firewood, some uh, spare firewood, put it on the tarp. It's supposed to rain tonight, tomorrow. Cool little camp area here on this little creek. Uh, got a little fly rod staging area. But a uh, super fun day. Lots of rainbows. Uh, I think I caught one brook trout. Uh, I think I caught a couple browns. So between all those rainbows, brook trout, and browns. So it's a pretty cool day. So. Got our tent set up, got our fire going, drying our socks out. You can see the hanging bat thing for the bear, bear hang. Um, but we're about to do some dinner, spill in some water, um, and then we're gonna just do nothing for the rest of the day. We're kinda, we did a three mile hike this morning, three mile hike yesterday, and then we hiked all up and down and bushwhacked in and out, and it was fun, we had a good time. But uh, definitely do another peak refuel. I'll show that whenever I um, get it going. But uh, for, for right now, I need to uh, go see if I can find some uh, some fuel and uh, break into my pack and get some of that stuff out. Man, what a fun, that's a fun place. That's cool. Perfect, perfect. Talk to that gentleman there he's been coming up here for 51 years the gentleman that was here he was walking through camp and he was had two water bottles with him he said there was a spring over here so he kind of gave me directions um he's been like i said he's been coming here for 51 years and he just drinks the water straight from the mountain so he said i gotta just come over here there's a tree down you need to fill your water bottles up so i figured i'd come fill mine up Okay. There we go. All right on. All right, it spills your water straight from the mountain. Nice and cold, man. That's what it's all about. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for tonight. We're gonna get back on here tomorrow morning, do a little fishing. Uh, it's supposed to rain, start at midnight, uh, all day tomorrow, and then temperature drops down into 30. So uh, we're still fishing, so it's gonna be a good time. Thanks for watching the video.